Six survivors from the Paris supermarket siege are now suing the French media. The reason? The coverage. The hostage situation in eastern Paris was front and center in the French media as the situation progressed earlier this year in January. But six hostages who were hiding in a walk-in freezer are suing French media for revealing their location as the situation was still ongoing and for giving live updates on police movements. The gunman, Amadi Koulibaly, was apparently unaware of those hiding within the store's freezer while he was holding the rest of the people hostage. But the hostages accused the media, specifically French station BFM TV, of revealing their location during their broadcasts and endangering the lives of others. The reason broadcasting live information on the whereabouts of hostages or the police is dangerous is because Koulibaly was watching the news during his last stand. Had he heard the news of hostages hiding in the freezer, they may have been put in grave danger. The editorial director at BFM TV admitted his reporter made a mistake during an interview on Canal Plus on March 26th, calling the reporting of the detail inappropriate. The lawyer representing the hostages, Patrick Klugman, was a little more harsh with his words, saying the broadcast lacked the most basic precautions by reporting the hiding location. Klugman's argument does have merit. Our established guidelines, these come from Pointer, advising journalists covering hostage situations to always assume a hostage taker has access to reporting and to avoid giving away police locations. The coverage of another hostage crisis in Sydney in December received some criticism for how it was reported as well. A columnist at the Brisbane Times deemed the Australian media's coverage as dangerous. According to the French paper Le Parisien, the complaint over the French media was filed on March 27th. Under the article for which the complaint was filed, a person would be fined about $16,800 if successfully sued. BFM TV, E Tele, France 2, and France 24 were among the various outlets warned by the Superior Audiovisual Council, a French TV watchdog agency, for the amount of information they'd broadcast during the siege. For Newsy and Elizabeth Hagedorn, multiple sources of broader view.